Who, who, who? I'm a hillbilly. Hey guys, welcome back to Just Carve Rob. This is where we are with our monster so far. You're not going to believe what happened. I was, uh, I got all this carving, right? I recorded it all. And you know what happened? My, uh, editing program freaked out and basically wiped all of my, uh, video out. So, <laughs> nice, right? Spent all day carving this guy. And, uh, I had a program glitch, and it basically ate my video, so I'm kind of bummed. And I bet you guys are kind of bummed, too, because you didn't get to see me carve any of this stuff. But that's what he's looking like. Sorry, guys. You know, I don't understand. I've been using this program, my editing program, for a long time, and all of a sudden, it just lost its cotton pick in mind. It started stuttering, and uh, I uninstalled it. I reinstalled it. Still doing the same thing. So I installed another editing program because I was thinking maybe there's something wrong with my phone. So I installed another editing program, and that one's working fine. So it has to be something to do with that U-Cut program. I don't know what's going on with it. But, uh, yeah, well, at least I'll show you how... I carved this out, so it'll be like this side here, except that side there. You didn't get to see me use the high-speed cutter to cut the teeth in. You didn't get to see me use the low-speed cutter to cut the eyes in, so I'm, I'm quite upset about it. So I wanted to show you guys some different tools today, and it didn't work out that way. I'm kind of bummed, but... uh we're just going to have to go on with it from here, guys, okay? Uh, nothing I can do about it. So, we'll, uh, we'll get into this, and we'll carve this side out here, and then we'll do some sanding and all that good stuff. Get this guy shaped up. And uh, in case you haven't heard, I just seen a video that uh, Jordy Johnson over there at Carbon Fusion made about... Uh, us having a little bannering going on back and forth about these monsters. He says his monster is the coolest monster. And I'm like, well, I think my monsters are cool, Jordy. But, you know, I think his monster is cool, too. Anyway, I guess he's putting up a, a poll on his community page. And you can vote for who's got the coolest monsters clung there goes the light so here's my monsters got robot monster we got elvis the zombie with his bone microphone we got our space alien guy and I guess this is going to be another space alien guy or a uh, creature from the Black Lagoon. I don't know. He's something though, right? So there's my monsters. And you see Jordy, he made a 2D wall hanger monster thing. It's pretty cool. So uh, go over to his community page. And I don't know if he's got it up yet or not. For the next two weeks, he said he's going to have it up. And you can vote on who carved the cooler monsters. Uh, if you like my monsters, uh, vote for them. If you like Jordy's monster, vote for his monster. I'm voting for his monster. It's a triclops. Got three eyes. Got his little laser gun right there. Yep. So yeah, go over and... Uh, Go over and give it a vote, okay? If you want to, you don't have to. You know, it's 
all in good fun. We all have fun. Like having fun. Okay. So, anyway, back to carving this guy. So, let's uh, go ahead and turn on the dust collector and the Dremel, and we will get this guy carved out here. Man, am I bummed out that I lost that footage. All right, guys, here we go. All right, guys, we've got that racket started. We got the vacuum going. We got the Dremel going. And uh, basically, we're going to cut out the other set of arms on the side. We're using our Dremel with the coarse saber tooth burr. And uh, we're just going to separate the arms and then we'll, we'll round them over and shape them. Yeah, that uh, it's kind of driving me nuts why that program messed up on me but it is what it is so we'll just keep moving forward here we'll get these arms separated on our next project we'll be using uh, I will use all three tools to show you guys the difference between the low speed it's air powered low speed NSK the high speed SCM and, well, you know the Dremel already, but we'll be using all three of them on our next little project. Which I haven't decided what our next thing's going to be to do. We've got a list of things we want to carve and things we have to carve. Uh, so, we'll get, we'll uh, put them all in a hat and draw it out and see which one we're going to do. Basically just getting down in there and getting those arms separated. Uh, this guy's still going to need some finish up work after this video. And paint. So we will work on that next. And just a nice light touch because this is cedar guys. And it does chip. I had a chip come off the face that I had to glue back on earlier. So, uh, overall, I really like carving this cedar. So, I have to say thank you to uh, Jordy over at Carving Fusion. He sent me a, two, two blocks of, or two or three blocks of this cedar for us to try. And it, it cuts really nice. It's nice and soft, it has a tight grain, uh, but still has that. Uh, problem that all cedar has it's brittle uh, but it carves nice you just have to take your time and use a light touch when you're carving this kind of stuff with it but yeah it's a lot softer than boss uh, basswood guys it carves very nice And just a uh, very light touch. Just removes that wood right out of there nice. I was going to thin the uh, stalks, the eye stalks there. I was going to thin them down. But... Uh, I think they they might have a problem with breaking if I do that. So I, I'm thinking I'm going to just have to leave them that that thicker size. Because I, I really wanted to thin them way down. But I don't know. I think uh, even with the grain running up and down, I think we might still have a problem with them breaking. Like if he got knocked over or something, might just snap one of them right off. So I think we're just going to... We're just going to leave them thick and uh, might thin them down just to fuzz with a, a diamond bit. So we have to go back over this and get all these uh, tool marks out of it.
this this has been a real fun carve I, felt I had a lot of fun carving them yeah he's he's coming along pretty good it's a nice thing about this uh the soft cedar is it carves quick. And I got an idea the other day. I drew it in my notebook and uh, bought them out here to drew them onto the wood and went out to the bandsaw and see I would just chip the piece right off the bottom of his foot there. And uh yep. So now we're now we're because uh, that chip came off. Now he doesn't want to stand. So we're gonna have to go around and f put little flats on his feet. You know that old story about you got your your chair is uh, uneven, so you cut a little bit off the the leg, and then it's uneven on the other side, so you cut a little off there, and before you know it, you turn your chair into a footstool. Mm -hmm. That's what's going on here. So we're just taking off just little, little, tiny, tiny, tiny bits to till we can get them to stand right. Yep, not there yet. Take a little more off this foot. And take a little more off the other foot. He's going to be a midget when we're done with him. Nah, I don't, we don't go quite that far. A little more, a little more, just a little more. Oh, nope, now we gotta take some off the other foot. I yeah. guess that's good enough. At least he's standing again. And that's it for him. That's all we can do with him for with the uh, the Dremel. We got the arms separated. We got everything rounded over and rounded out and. So yeah, he ended up with four legs and four arms and four eyes and lots of teeth to that. All right, so that will be that. Okay, so here he is, guys. We just got to go back and do some sanding on them. Uh, do a little more work on these eyeballs. I haven't decided if I'm going to have a tongue hanging out of his mouth. We could always make a tongue. Yeah, I think we're just going to leave him like that. So we're going to have to get back in here and, and do some sanding on him. Get all these uh, tool marks out of him. And, uh, yeah. So there he is. He's almost done. There's a top view. A back view. Bottom view. Jordy, Jordy, you can't win, Jordy. You can't win. <laughs> so there he is, guys. We're just going to go back in with some uh, a sander, maybe some diamond work. We'll get this all scrubbed in here or get it all smoothed out. He's pretty rough. Yeah, maybe we may maybe we'll just leave them rough. Nah, we're gonna sand them off. We're gonna smooth them down a little bit. I gotta do some work on these eyes with the diamond bits. Get all this stuff rounded over here and back here. So we're gonna get to that. All right, bye. So there he is, guys. So far. Yep. So uh, I just like to say. Thank you to all the subscribers. Thank you for everybody that's watching. And uh, just carve. Carve something awesome. Carve every day, guys. Be awesome. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Share, subscribe, and like if you want to. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Bye.